Inside the Ropes, taking you behind the scenes of tournament preparation. There's lots of different shades of, uh, shades of green and tan. Uh, really and truly, the, uh, the restoration as, we've, as it's matured, uh, it gets better every day. Timing couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, I'm not sure Mr. Core's ever seen it in person as, as crispy as it is on the edges, and it's, it's everything I feel like he's envisioned and, and kind of told us how this is how it should look. It was a no-brainer um, when, when the job was offered on course two to be part of the restoration, to work alongside uh, Bill Core and Ben Crenshaw, um, you know, two highly regarded architects, um, great minds in, in the game of golf. Kevin's workers, you can't believe how many man hours that they put in planting the wire grass, and they did lot, so much of the hand labor. Bill and I marveled at what they did and how much time that they put in. So. Uh, Bill and I would always, always love to espouse their, our accolades to them. Because what you see out there is, is the result of hand labor. It's not so much machine labor. The style that they have here is definitely uh, rare, uh, especially here in the States. Uh, you know, I know outside of the country, that's just what, how, exactly how the golf courses are. And for me personally, I like that style. You know, I kind of like uh, just the native look real rugged and natural. I mean, these guys, even though it looks native, uh, it really is uh, maintained, very detailed, maintained, and they have out there what they want. The mindset of the change was, all right, we're gonna take all this out and it's gonna be a completely new slate. We managed it that way for the 2008 U.S. Amateur, had a successful U.S. Amateur the old way, but then now we're gonna turn it. So it was hard to grasp at first. I mean, we had success. We were had hosted two successful U.S. Opens U.S. Amateur in 2008 with that old style, and so now taking it to the really old style, the restoration, the 40s and 60s era stuff, I mean, it, it took some getting used to and a lot of uh, culture change for our crew and our own mindsets of, hey, you know what, the edges don't have to be lush and green all the way to the base of the tree, and, and so Core and Crenshaw were fantastic to work with. They encouraged us all along the way to make sure we had the tools we needed. This year compared to 2005, is really the, the larger footprint of, of shortcut uh, fine turf areas that we mow. We only have two mowing heights. We have the putting surfaces and then everything else. I think it's great because your eye doesn't, your eye doesn't transition. Everything just blends in from the tee up to the green and then it just kind of flows in through it. So I, I really enjoy the two heights of cut and not having the rough off to the side going from that transition of a Bermuda grass that's a little drier on the edges, often in the scruffy areas, and then up to the wall of pines. We've eliminated 40 acres of rough. Uh, that sounds like, okay, they have fewer, less acreage to mow. But the fact is, of the, in 2005, we had 26 acres of fairways to mow. Now we have 50 acres of, of shortcut turf to mow. Plus the turf itself. I mean, they've gone through extensive dethatching uh, on the fairways, and the greens are marvelous. God, they are so wonderful right now. But it's bunker maintenance, too, because we reworked a lot of the bunkers. Didn't change the placement of them so much, but we enhanced the looks of them, brought them up slightly here and there. And uh, they worked with our crew beautifully. So we like to say it was a tandem process with their personnel. Toro about uh, two weeks ago sent one of their guys down from Minnesota. He stayed with me for a full week. They had two of their technicians from SDI in Charlotte, which is our local dealership. We have extra greens mowers, fairway units, T mowers. They've sent us and taken care of whatever our needs were. The support we've gained from them in, in getting all the equipment here has been phenomenal. Anything that we've asked for, they've been able to provide and uh, we're, we're extremely excited that they're, they want to be part of these two championship weeks and, and we couldn't do it without them. They help us not only during the championships but every day during the year even when we're not hosting the U.S. Open. They're here to support us if we have needs. We run it by them, maybe a piece of equipment that we don't know about or something that can make our job a little easier or help us groom the greens just a little better. They're always sending prototype equipment that we can use and try and give feedback and they listen 
if something's not quite right. It could be very simple, it could be very major, and they, they address it. And, and we always take pride in using the Toro equipment either for a normal day or preparing for the U.S. Opens. Months ago, ask us, you know, what do you need for the tournament? Be thinking about, you know, everything, you know, from from uh, golf carts to walk mowers to fairway units, and you know, we've had a, a great relationship with them since since we started. So uh, they've given us everything and the support that we need. And it's not for just for this week. That's the the key that's so important for that for that relationship. You know, that we've had that equipment here for over three weeks now. Uh, so we've got it, you know, kind of in our, in our system uh, to be able to use it and, and, and have it that, and, and the, the technician support uh, from Toro itself and, and Smith Turf and Irrigation is, is invaluable for what we try to do. I've heard uh, one of the guys on the crew from England talk to Ian Poulter and uh, he said it's absolutely fantastic. Um, Steve Stricker, I heard, uh, thinks the greens are just so smooth and loves them. Um, some of the guys I just talked to, Russell Henley, they they are they love the course. Um, the comments are are from highly respected players um, within the game, and that does mean a lot when, when you do get that kind of endorsement, and they do accept the course and just rave about the conditions and the way it's presented. So um, I think it means that course two. Uh, was going in the right direction, is in the right direction and should, should play extremely well for the two weeks.